You need to unmute Mary. Got it. Tonight is November 30th, <clears throat> um, 2021. Take a minute to quiet your heart and be grateful for all the blessings that we have in our life. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly father, we have sinned against you through our own fault and thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Turning to page 606, Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, one night imports not knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, their voices are not heard, and their voices are not heard. Their, their sound has gone out into all the lands, and their message to the ends of the world. In the deep has he set a pavilion for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the undermost edge of the heavens, and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing, nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, and much more and, and than much fine gold, sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. By them also is your servant enlightened. And in keeping them, there is great, great reward. Who can tell how often he offends? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Above all, above all keep your servant from presumptuous, presumptuous sins. Let them not get dominion over me. Then I shall be whole and sound, the innocent of a, the innocent of a great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. On page 131, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. You will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wing. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And in the contemporary version, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now unmute yourselves, please. And we'll offer prayers for people who are on our hearts. <coughs> <coughs> Pray for my brother, John, and for Luke. For Jordan and Trey. We pray for Kim. And Kathy. For we pray for Joyce. For Sybil. For Marilyn. For Doris. Pray for our work here at Christ Church in December. For Lynn. Healing for Larry, Allison, Bethany. For Kim. Mary and Foster. For the Stanberry family. Lord, you have heard the prayers of these people. We ask you to listen carefully to us and answer us in, in your way. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, <clears throat> whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God is waking, O oh Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful God, Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. <clears throat>